Hello dear listeners and welcome back to QuickSafe TV. This is going to be the episode number 3 of Pushkin's Bedtime Stories in which in this current episode we're going to read the sermon number 3 of Vivek from Morrowind. He was a prominent figure in Morrowind. He was a god and these are his lessons. This is the lesson number 3 or sermon number 3. Now I hope you're going to enjoy it and to any of you who skipped the previous episodes, in the episode 2 what happened in the book 2, in the sermon 3, what happened is that Nechiman's wife got blinded, survived the confrontation with Mephala or died and got resurrected. I'm not really sure what exactly happened but nevertheless she did not, they did not restore her sight, so she's blinded right now, and I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen. I hope, uh, what's gonna happen. Yeah, you see, uh, for me, the, in English, the times is certainly not my strongest suit, but nevertheless, I hope you enjoy the book and enjoy listening to it. Just a quick note from myself, I will read the dialogues from Dwemer, as if they were dwarves. Now, it does not mean that they actually are, but uh, to be fair, we don't really know how they talk because there is no, there is no one, not one remnant of the Dwemer, which is really sad. They left a lot of technology behind themselves, their mechanisms, which are kind of aggressive, especially in Morrowind and Skyrim, especially in Skyrim, I would even say. But the point is that we really don't know what they were, how they talked, what was their behavior. We can just study them from what's remaining after them. I will assume that they're beardy guys, right? They are not necessarily beardy guys. They're kind of an elven kind, which lives underground. But nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed and not gonna bash me for this. I apologize up front to anyone who will not enjoy it. Being blind, the Nechiman's wife wandered into a cave on her way to the domains of House Inveril. It so happened that this cave was at Vemeri's stronghold. The Dwemeri spied the egg and captured the Nechiman's wife. They bound her head to foot and brought her deep down within the earth. She heard one say, Go and make a simulacrum of her and place it back on the surface, for she has something akin to what we have, and so the Vilothi will cover it in and notice if she is too long away. In the darkness, the Nechiman's wife felt great knives try to cut her open. When the knives did not work, the Dwemer used solid sounds. When those did not work, great heat was brought to bear. Nothing was of any use, and Egg of Vivek remained safe within her. A Dwemer said, Nothing is of any use. We must go and misinterpret this. Vivek felt that his mother was afraid, and so consoled her. The fire is mine. Let it consume thee, and make a secret door at the altar of Patholm, in the house of Boethia, where we become safe and looked after. This old prayer made the Nechiman's wife smile and begin such a deep sleep that when Dvemeri Atronax returned with cornered spheres and cut her apart, she did not awake and died peacefully. Vivek was removed from her womb and placed within a magical glass for further study. To confound his captors, he channeled his essence into love, an emotion that Dvemer knew nothing about. The egg said, Love is used not only as a constituent in moods and affairs, but also as a raw material from which relationships produce our later exasperations, regrettably fashioned restrictions, riddles laced with affections known only to the loving couple, and looks that linger too long. Love is also an often used ingredient in some transparent verbal and non-verbal transactions, where eventually it can sometimes be converted to a variety of true devotions, some of which yield tough, insoluble and infusible unions. In its basic form, love supplies approximately 13 draughts of all energy that is derived from relationships. Its role and value in the society at large are controversial. The Dwemer were vexed at these words and tried to hide behind their power symbols. They sent their Atronachs to remove the egg image from their cave and place it within the simulacrum they have made of Vivek's mother. A Dwemer said, We Dwemer are only aspirants to this that the Vilothi have. They shall be our doom in this and the eight known worlds. Nurn, Ulkan, Rket, 
tender, kinnert, a kaat, mhara, and junal. The secret to doom is within this sermon. The ending of the words is alm sibi. Now that we finished with the actual reading of the book, I'm just going to go ahead and give you my short feedback on the book and the opinion about it. Now, at first it kind of seemed funny, um, you know, the opportunity to voice dwarves and all, not actual dwarves, but dwemer, but still, uh, halfway through the book there is this thing the Dwemer do with the Nechiman's wife, and it's really not exciting. I mean, if you can imagine what happened there, it's very gruesome, the way it is. Now, I just want to say... Now, let's, let me just structureize this a little bit. Now, first of all, in this episode, basically, Nechiman's wife died, and yes, his mother, Vivek's mother died, and now he's... They took him out. An egg, right? They took him out. Let's see what's gonna happen now. Uh, really interesting what's gonna happen now really interested myself uh but uh, again <laughs> that was really un unexpected that was the last thing i would expect to see in this episode Dwemer are kind of ruthless again there's no information about how they actually talk or anything but we see that they are quite bent on science and discovering all the secrets of nature and etc and there was this at the end of the chapter it says the uh, secret to doom lies within the sermon now, basically, I think I understood it. In my opinion, what that meant is that the the seed of doom is this: what women are doing. They are their pursuit of science, in uh, neglecting everything else. Like, like with us, with humans, the further we move to the science, the further away we move away from the nature, from what you know, what we came from. We came from nature, and the, the further we go into the science, right now we all live in our flats, or in, um, most of us anyway, in cities we live in flats. I live in a flat, I lived in flat, I was born in flat, I mean, <laughs> I did go on summer to the farm, but the point is that we all move away from nature, we all live in our artificial little worlds, and even right now, to do this, uh, book reading for you and to give you my feedback on it. I'm using the technological devices. I'm using a microphone. I'm using uh, everything that is not <laughs> that is not taken from nature. That's all man-made, you see. And basically, dwarves, what they did, they were ready to kill the woman just to, you know, just to try to find something about this egg. And at the end, they didn't find much. They just realized that the, the that he knows that this Velothi, that Velothi know much more than they do. And that's it, right? So they just, they killed the person and they essentially, they found out nothing. So I think the seed of doom is the destruction is what we essentially were doing before these initiatives for saving nature began. I'm talking about WWF, I'm talking about Greenpeace and etc. Before these initiatives, what we were actually doing, we were destroying the nature to get uh, more and more products that are man-made to create our weapons, to create our products and etc. So I, I, I know not necessarily all of you will agree with me, but that's the way I feel. Right now, with all these initiatives, we're trying to reverse the damage that have been done. There has been all the damage that we have done to the nature. And last day, last night, there was this again this initiative, the Earth Hour, great, great initiative, which I support. The third year I supported. I found out it three years ago, and I support it still. I think it's a good idea, although it's quite minuscule in its effects and results, but it's still something. It's still doing something. Well, anyway, I think it, it becomes rambling. So, in in short, I hope you enjoyed this chapter. I hope it was enjoyable and uh, stay tuned for more. Subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this particular series and check out my other videos on my channel. You can find interesting videos about Skyrim, you can find interesting videos about Jagged Alliance back in action and some other great games including Dead Island, including Terraria, very minor coverages, but it's a, but anyway, you know, you could you could see that. And I thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed it and didn't mind me trying this out. It's a lot of fun to do that, but the book this episode was not fun. It was shocking. <laughs> it was really shocking. Anyway, I hope to see you again soon on my channel. Have a great day and bye-bye.